Hello everyone, I'm going to be doing a review today of the Sony Ericsson Live View. It's a device that you can actually use to receive uh, text message notification calls, uh, calendar alerts, and there's other applications you can download to use with this. Uh, okay, so first off, uh, we'll go over what's included with this package. I bought this on eBay through a uh, seller named DZ Tech out of California. Okay, uh, of course you get the box. It was brand new, so no use, nothing like that. Uh, he included this extra charger. It's not the Sony Ericsson charger. It's a Motorola phone charger, just a generic one. Um, because the original one came with a European charger. Okay, he also included a USB. Also all the accessories which is this watch strap right here, uh, the clip, this is to use with the watch strap, and also there's another clip uh, not included in the video, but that one is used to uh, uh, clip into your uh, t-shirt for example, uh, your pants, um, you know, somewhere where you can clip this on. Okay, alright, and then this watch strap here that you see, it's a plastic watch strap, I didn't like the uh, nylon one, so I bought this one here. I bought this at Walmart for $4, so not too bad. Of course, the user guides and uh, information, warranty information sheets. Okay. All right, so then first I'll go into the mod I did because uh, probably this is uh, something that some people have maybe encountered if you already purchased this. Um, but it's actually what I did is I, I used the plastic one and I used the rods uh, that were included. You can use uh, the ones that are included with the watch strap that you buy. Oh, by the way, make sure it's a 20 millimeter. Otherwise, it's not going to fit in this section right here. So 20 millimeter watch strap. Okay, so I got that. Got the rods. I uh, adjusted that in and slipped it in right there on this end where the buttons are. Okay, there you go, and I'm using, of course, the uh, clip for the watch strap. All right, so then on this side here, you don't want to use the uh, the factory one or the, the ones that it comes with, because if you do, then you won't have access to the charging port. And if you are did like me, once you snap this in, if you try to remove it, uh, the grips inside probably broke off. So if you haven't done this yet, be careful when you're trying to remove it. Otherwise, you're going to have uh, to have to glue this back together like I did. Okay, so now it's on there permanently. <clears throat> All right, so as far as uh, this end of it, what I had to do is mod modify it. So I got a paper clip, a small paper clip. Not the bigger one, small one. Okay, so first you want to... Extend this out in a line. You can use a needle nose. That's what I used. And you want to start at one end. If you do both ends at the same time, you're not going to be able to slip this back in. Okay. So here's pretty much the design of it. Okay, so you got one eighth right here. One eighth down here. Three quarters. One eighth and one eighth. Again, start with this side first, leaving this all straight. Once you got this part done, slip the wristband and then complete the other end and slip it into your wrist wrist clip, uh, wristband clip. Okay, so that's pretty much it for that right there. Okay, so now let's go into whether it will be compatible with your device or not. The phone I'm using is a Galaxy S2. The first thing I would recommend doing before you even purchase this is go to the Play Store or Android Store and make sure you can download this application called Live View Application. This is what's going to make that phone work, the device work, the Live View work. Okay, once you know that you can install this and open it correctly, it's going to open up like this. There you go. Okay, then you'll have ex um, you'll know that it's going to function with your phone. So next, go ahead and order it. 
whatever. But be aware that, as other reviews have stated, the phone, the dev the live view does disconnect quite a bit, quite a bit. Uh, I've noticed that, you know, every 30 minutes to uh, two hours, and sometimes it stays even longer connected. It just depends. Uh, one thing I've noticed, uh, you know, if you step away from the live view or separate uh, your phone and the live view for about 20 feet or more, it will disconnect. So keep that in mind. However, one of the reviews I've read, or some of the reviews, also stated that the time would get out of sync once that happens, and that is incorrect. If the device gets disconnected, the time still stays current and keeps up to date, so that's great. You can still use it as a watch for $26 or $30 switch the watch band. It's not bad. Uh, you can. It's got many different uses that you can uh, that it has and features. So let's go over that next. All right. So first, I'll go over the main menu. So when you first turn on the application and you got it synced, this is what you're going to see: the time. This button right here is going to bring you to the main menu. Okay, here you can see your plugins, text messages, notifications, and if you click in there, uh, you can see the messages, of course, and read them. Um, I'm not going to do that. You got all events, missed calls, calendar events, and find phone. This will tell you actually send a no message to your phone and activate the notification. There you go. So you can find it. All right, then we got plugins. So let's go into plugins now. This is um, plugins are applications that you've downloaded for this for this device. Okay, the first one we're going to look at is camera. Camera is a Sony uh, plugin, and it allows you to control the camera. Okay, so it activates the camera, and then once you take the picture, it'll show you a screenshot on your life view. So we'll see that in just a moment. And all you gotta do is hit this button here to take the picture. Sorry guys, I worked earlier. Oh well. Anyways, it worked earlier, so I don't know what's going on. I really don't use that one anyways. Um, so the next one is Awe Watch. Awe Watch is a, a time application. So instead of using the uh, default one, you can use this one instead. And to customize it, uh, of course, you need to download the application first. So once you have it, it's this one right here called Awe Watch. Uh, here you can change the design of the display as well as a color right here and the time format 12 hour or 24 hour okay so to go back to the plugins I uh, just hold it down for about two seconds brings you back and then you got access to the dialer so the dialer is pretty neat also um, you can use this to actually dial the calls I would say this is useful if you got Bluetooth on a headset Bluetooth and you want to make the call without you know pulling out your phone so then you just kind of scroll to the side choose the numbers you want to pick oops okay that button right there will start the call so all right so to uh, there you go to add the number there you go. You use this button. It's actually not a button. It's all touch sensitive. So you just touch down here, kind of slide it down. That's the best way I found that it works. And also slide it over here. Slide it this way. There you go. And then hit right there to make the call. Go back again to the menu. Hold down for about two seconds. Brings you back over here. Contact call. This will show you all your favorite contacts, for example. And uh, I'll show you a picture of them that you have saved on your phone as well as our phone number and you can initiate the call this way as well okay and then viewfinder this uh, viewfinder is actually a little better than the Sony one 
This one will show you a picture of what you're taking. Uh, however, it's black and white. It's going to be difficult to see in this uh, review. But give it a try. You'll, you'll probably like it. And then uh, you can use the button right here again to snap the photo. Okay. There you go. <clears throat> I can't see it at all. All right, so then to go again back, there you go. Okay, up will bring you back to the main menu. So you, all you got to do is hit this button right here. There you go. You're back in there. All right. So then also, um, you can use this to control your music. You got to be in the main menu, and once you're there. If you just hold down this button for about two or three seconds, it's going to bring up this icon right here. So it's going to be your music player right here. Uh, the play button is controlled by this button on the right side. Uh, the volume is just light up and down. And then to change tracks, you're going to, just going to slide it this way, right or left. Okay. So let me just show you a demonstration here. We'll open up Pandora. Oh, by the way, um, if you don't have any uh, music applications open at the uh, when you try this application, most likely it's going to open uh, Google Music or Play Music. So keep that in mind. If um, if you have, for example, Pandora open, then it will allow you to control that. Otherwise, it's not going to open Pandora. So let's open up that application here. <laughs> okay, there you go. So I'm going to lower the volume now. Of course, it's got to be all turned on. There you go. Now we'll raise the volume back up. There you go. Just changing the tracks. And pause. You just hit that button again. There you go. Alright, so it works pretty well. Um, again, other than the disconnect problems that it's, that it's always had, uh, it's pretty great device I mean I'd recommend it for twenty six dollars you know it's not too bad um, you know especially once you get this fixed uh, it's gonna work out properly if you decide to just use the nylon strap um, best way I found to charging this is just sticking your uh, once it's clipped in there just stick it uh, stick your nail right into that rod the rod edge or just something thin and then just pull it back and slip slide it out otherwise you're gonna have to take away that clip and then you're gonna have problems with it breaking so it's better to do that option than to take out the clip and have it broken because then you're not gonna get it replaced Sony's pretty bad about that alright so then um, that pretty much does it for this review the names Cosmo and hope, hopefully this helped out and given you some more information if you have any additional questions about the device how it works uh, send me a message, and I'll talk to you guys later. Take care.